resistance, an inner battle. All right, so here's a background on kind of how I got to this resistance and this inner battle against school. Um, I actually started off at Clark University in Worcester, Massachusetts. It's a smaller liberal arts college. Uh, did quite well there, actually, my first year there, which was my first year of college. Uh, got close to a 4.0, um, enjoyed my classes, enjoyed my uh, major, enjoyed my professors, and really didn't give much attention to anything else, especially social life and friends. Struggled in that department, uh, spent lots of nights alone, weekends alone, uh, lots of time doing work, waking up early, going to sleep early, so on and so forth. So I thought, well, I don't like it here at Clark, so I'm going to transfer to a school closer to home that might be a better fit for me socially. Not really recognizing the fact that academically, I'm probably going to take a step back, uh, going to a bigger school with less of the individualized attention that I might have needed. I ended up joining a social fraternity, um, not necessarily for the party scenes, but more so to just have a social life and have some structure to provide uh, that for me. Joining the fraternity was a really good move for me. I made friends that I'll have for the rest of my life. Um, I took on leadership positions within the fraternity. I actually wound up being the president of the fraternity for a year. Uh, really enjoyed my time there. Unfortunately, what ended up happening was I didn't know how to manage my social life and my school life simultaneously. And I completely neglected classes for almost an entire year, uh, ultimately resulting in essentially, you know, having to withdraw from school. All right, let's fast forward to now. I'm 26 years old, uh, about four years removed from uh, leaving Miami University. I work part time, I go to school part time, and I live in Ohio City. Uh, what you're seeing here are some pictures of my apartment, and so the one thing kind of holding me together throughout all of this has been Provideride. Uh, Provideride, as you can see, is a, a transportation company. Uh, we provide wheelchair accessible vans to uh, people that need medical transportation. Working at Provideride has really allowed me to see lots of different aspects of uh, business and this business in particular, of course. Um, I've gotten to become familiar with the dispatch department, the customer service department, the IT department. And then lastly, I think the most critical part, you know, of why I enjoy working at Provideride, despite not directly reporting to him, is that it's a family business and uh, I get a chance to work with my dad each and every single day. And that's really just been an amazing experience. So now I've been at Provide Ride for about two years. Um, and while I'm enjoying it a lot, I know I need to secure my future. And a really important critical step in taking care of that would be finishing my degree. So. Here I go back to Notre Dame. Um, it's been really hard uh, getting myself to do the hard things. For me, so much of what was important in this whole process of resisting school and going back and simultaneously enjoying work so much that I didn't want to go back is just understanding exactly what's going on in my head. Um, understanding and being aware. And the quote that really inspired me and pushed me to get back to school was, if not now, then when? And with that in my, oh, wait, oh shoot, I got to get going to school.